So we learn the, the components that makes mm-hmm. networking. Mm-hmm, right? Yeah. See, when we talk mm. about uh, routers, mm-hmm. there are various size. Switches, mm-hmm. there are various size. Firewalls, there are various size. Yeah. And, and various, various vendors, not only various size, you also have various vendors like Juniper, mm-hmm. Cisco, Huawei, uh, ZTE, mm-hmm. HP, no, Nokia, Alcatelus, and um, many, many. Mm-hmm. There are microtech. There are many, many companies nowadays which provides Mm -hmm. the networking device. Mm -hmm. See, some vendors are very good in um, in uh, enterprise, I mean, routing and switching. Some vendors are very good for service providers. Some vendor devices are very good for firewall. Uh, Mm -hmm. Some are very good for data center. Not every vendor is good for uh, all. So mm-hmm. I I really do not uh, appreciate Cisco when it comes to mm-hmm. security. I don't do that. Okay, okay. Mm-hmm. They're not really good. When I compare to... Uh, no, mm-hmm. that's too costly. Mm-hmm. The same output, same mm-hmm. quality. You, mm-hmm. will, you will get it... Uh, for cheaper price. Mm-hmm. Uh, when you when you do um, parallel to firewalling, mm-hmm. the features that are available in Cisco mm-hmm. is also available in Palo Alto networks. Mm-hmm. But if you see the cost Mm -hmm. too much this um, Cisco cost is too much Mm -hmm. so you know every vendor is specialized in some some area Mm -hmm. so we learn networking in general here It's, it's a common networking that we learn it is not Cisco or Juniper, it is common for all. At last, mm-hmm. we will end up in a data center. Yeah, that's our mm-hmm. aim, right? Yeah. Yeah. Mm, yeah. Cisco data center. Fine. Uh, let's go. We were mm-hmm. looking into routers, but we are not getting into various series of routers or various switches, series of switches not firewall but in production you will see many okay when we say components of networking i should say all these things we are not just having mm-hmm. one class of device we have various uh, class very series mm-hmm. very series and you know, that's what i want to mean okay next is what next is um we learned about collision domain and broadcast domain. In a mm, hub, yeah. we saw there is one collision domain mm-hmm. and one broadcast domain. Mm-hmm. Whatever the number of ports may be, the, uh, <clears throat> the collision domain and broadcast domain never changes. Eight port. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's, it's going to be the same. The collision domain and broadcast domain is going to be same. Yeah, right. <coughs> but for the hub, sorry, for the for the route, for the switch, for the switch or a bridge, switch or bridge is uh, same at the same time. It is not same. You know very well. Switch is a hardware based device. Switch yeah. is a hardware based device. Whereas hub is the software based device. Software based, yeah. Hub is a software based device. So we don't uh, we don't have we don't have this um, collusion 
because you've got more collision domain, you don't experience collusion. As a result, uh, the number of number of uh, ports are more in switches uh, mm-hmm. compared to bridges because switches hardware based, uh, ASIC application specific mm-hmm. integrated circuit, which is not in the bridge. Bridge does the same uh, learning of MAC address, collision domain, all the stuff, uh, using software, using Mm, buffer uh, and software. There is no register, there is no chipsets. So Mm -hmm. the load is too much. Uh, You you will see bridges are not that big Mm. as compared to switches. So for a small, small company, where you, you you have like 10 devices to connect, then you may go with switch. Mm-hmm. Yeah, otherwise, you know, switch is not good for a small company. So those things we saw. Um, collision mm-hmm. domain in switch, it will keep changing. Mm-hmm. Collision domain and broadcast domain, if you have more number of... Um, Uh, VLANs, then you will have more number of broadcast domain. We'll talk about that later. I do not want to get into VLANs now. But in general, Mm. when you say switching, you will Mm. will just have only one broadcast domain and uh, Mm -hmm. n number of collision domain. And mean port number of ports. Number of ports. Here, instance for number of ports. N number of collision domain. And only one broadcast to me. Mm, yeah. Um, but as I said, when you when you create more VLANs, this mm-hmm. this will be answer will be different. When you create more VLANs, then you are going to have more broadcast to me. Broadcast to me. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So as of now, let us not get into that area. Hmm. So now it's only one. Okay, next is <clears throat> routers. We did not talk about routers, collision domain and broadcast domain. This is what I missed in the previous class. If you say you got four ports in a router, mm-hmm. each port on a router will be a member of different network. You will not see any mm. router with mm-hmm. 10, 0, 0, 1, 10, 0, 0, 2. Not possible. Why? Mm-hmm. This this two belong to same network. You same cannot network. have you cannot have router with IP address of same networks. Not possible. Mm-hmm. What is the purpose of router? We learned that router is to Connect between, connect between two different network. Yeah. Mm. So every interface will be a member of a different network. For example, here mm-hmm. 20, 0, 0, 1, 30, 0, 0, 1, 40, 0, 0, 1. Like switches maintain a MAC table, routers also maintain what? Routing table. So router is also having the MAC table, right? Of course, router also have MAC table, but routers, they decide the port to which the packet need to be forwarded is based on routing table. Switches design hmm. based on MAC table. MAC table, yes. Very important. <coughs> every device will have MAC table, I tell you. Mm-hmm. See, every device, every port has got MAC address. Every device will have MAC addresses of connected device, like you will see ARP. I, we don't mm-hmm. call this MAC table here. We call this ARP. Mm. ARP table will have definitely the MAC address of uh, the connected device. Okay. With, with, along with the IP address. Because it's a layer mm-hmm. 3 device, it's a routing device. It should have both IP address and MAC address. 
So yeah. if you if you ask me, do we have a MAC address and router? Of course, yes, we have MAC address. But additionally, we all, we also need to have IP address because this is a router. Mm -hmm. For a switch, so, you, uh, you will not see any IP a, address. Uh, yeah, yeah. So for router, no, like uh, what it will do with MAC table? That is what called as adjacency table. When uh, when routers send any packet, mm -hmm. when when routers send any packet, when routers generate any packet, they should mm. they should follow the OSI model. In OSI mm -hmm. model, the layer two, which we call as data link layer, needs mm -hmm. MAC address. Hmm. Without MAC address, no communication, whether it is a router or a switch or a server or a modem or whatever the device that participate in networking, mm -hmm. they need all seven layers. Mm -hmm. If anyone wants to generate a packet, there should be a seven layer strictly followed. Mm. Okay, let me ask you a question. If you are sending a letter to someone mm -hmm. in the same town where you stay, where are mm -hmm. you now? Are you in Bangalore? In Bangalore, yeah. Okay, you are writing me a letter. Mm -hmm. Because you are in Bangalore, can you, can you avoid writing uh, that uh, Karnataka, Bangalore? Uh, can you just put uh, the street number and the uh, uh, and my location and send a letter? No. Mm -hmm. If you want mm -hmm. to send a letter, you must write my name, you must write my street name, you must write my locality, you need to write uh, the house address, you must write uh, uh, Bengaluru, you must write Karnataka, pin code. Only then that is acceptable. Mm -hmm. You may not be sending the letter to Delhi, but still, mm -hmm. you have to write all those things that you usually write when you want to write to Delhi. See, when you write to mm -hmm. Delhi, you write pin code. You write uh, mm -hmm. Delhi, you write um, uh, the street name, you write house name, you, everything, whether it is local or national or international, you must write all those things. That is the, that is the basic criteria for a qualified letter to be posted. Mm -hmm. Likewise, whether the packet is sent by switch or a router mm -hmm. or a firewall or a server or a computer, they need to stick on to that standard of preparing the packet. When yeah. they prepare the packet, they need to have all that seven layer. Mm. So when router sends the packet, if you do not know the MAC address of the next device, then the router cannot send the packet. Yes, correct. It needs MAC address. It also needs IP address. Mm -hmm. The difference between switch and the router with respect to decision making is switches decide based on the MAC address by looking into the MAC table. Mm -hmm. Routers decides based on the routing table. IP address. Okay. Okay. So routers also need a MAC, right, uh, to send the packet. So where it will refer? It will still refer to the MAC table? It will refer to the ARP table. We call it as ARP table because it's not simply ARP a table. MAC address. We also have, we also have MAC and um, mm -hmm. IP. IP. Okay. Go back. Now, what yeah, I'm yeah. trying to say here is the routing table will be like this. Let's say this interface name is E0, Ethernet 1, mm -hmm. Ethernet 2, Ethernet 3. So it is going to have E0, 10, 0, 0, 1, Ethernet 1, 10, 20, 0, 0. Mm -hmm. 1. Mm -hmm. uh, 0. Usually the routing table will have only the network, not the IP address. You are saying mm -hmm. an IP address to the interface. From there, it knows the network and it will automatically build this routing table. In E3, uh, mm -hmm. you are going to have 40, 0, 0, 0, and E2, 
Mm-hmm. So, um, you see, the routing table very clearly says which network is connected on which interface. Right? Mm-hmm. Now, if mm-hmm. someone is sending traffic from here to here, um, let's say the IP address on this is 10.0.0.10, and the gateway is what? 10.0.0.1, okay? The router's address mm-hmm. is the gateway. And here, yeah. let's say 20.0.0.10, and the gateway will be 20.0.0.1, isn't it? Mm-hmm. Here. Yeah. One. Now, what will happen when the packet goes from here? Let's say I'll, this is the packet. Um, source IP address is 10.0.0.10, and I'm pinging from this PC, ping... 20, 0, 0, 10. So that becomes the destination. 20, 0, 0, 10. Now when this packet mm. goes to router, how it goes to router? Because you have given gateway address. It will go to the router Correct. only. It will go to router. Mm-hmm. Router will check the destination. What is the destination? 20. Isn't it? 20. Yeah. In the routing table, it will check 20 is on E1. So it is going mm-hmm. to send in this direction, not to anyone else. Mm, correct. Same thing we learned in the switch also, right? So how to get the MAC of that 20? Forget zero, about zero, twin MAC address. Let's not talk about MAC address now. That's okay, a different okay. story. Mm. That is an ARP. That mm. is the job of ARP. We are not learning okay. now, uh, those things. We are trying to understand mm-hmm. the collision domain and broadcast domain on router. Let us not get into okay, that good. area, okay? Please. So, okay. mm-hmm. what I'm asking you is, the destination is 20 network, it knows where mm-hmm. is Ethernet 1, yeah? Yeah. And it sends the packet on this direction. Now, you you saw the same thing on the switch. Switch after learning MAC address, it sends to the mm-hmm. correct interface, right? Correct. Mm-hmm. Why? So that it can avoid collusion. Collusion. Mm-hmm. Uh, so if router is also doing this, then router also have got collision domain on every port. Do you agree? Yeah, I'm agree. Yes. yes. So if you have four port router, then you will have four collision domain. Next mm-hmm. is any broadcast may come. The broadcast cannot go to the other interfaces. If there's a broadcast coming from the local area network LAN, mm-hmm. it may go everywhere in the LAN, but when it comes here, it won't allow to pass through. So mm-hmm. it controls the broadcast. Every port controls the broadcast. What do you understand from this? Every port has got a broadcast domain. Broadcast domain. Okay. <coughs> So in router, every port has got collision domain, meaning mm-hmm. it it avoids collusion by knowing which network is connected where, and mm-hmm. also every port has every port controls the broadcast that is coming in. So we got broadcast domain also on every port. So twenty port router, twenty collision domain, twenty broadcast domain. Five port router, five collision domain, five broadcast domain. Yeah. So mm-hmm. this is what we need to remember that switches have got only one broadcast domain. Hub has got only one broadcast domain. Repeater has got only one broadcast domain. But router will have more. How much? Mm-hmm. Depending on the number of uh, ports. Yeah. Depending on the number of active ports. <coughs> Fine. Now, yeah. I'm going to ask you uh, just one question only, or one or two questions. It depends if you didn't, uh, uh, if you get confused with the one question. Mm-hmm. Mm, sure. Uh, then, um, then I may ask more questions. So. Mm-hmm. Let's do it. This is a hub. Yeah.
This is another hub. Mm-hmm. Two hub. Mm-hmm. And I got, let's say, four port, four port. In mm-hmm. which, uh, in which you know, three devices are connected here. Three devices are connected here. So, how many collision domain and how many broadcast domain on each hub? On each hub. On each how hub. Many... How many collision mm-hmm. domain and how many broadcast domain? Okay. How many collision domain and how many broadcast domain on each? Hub. Mm-hmm. These two hubs are not connected, right? Not, they are independent. Not, not right? connected. They are independent. Independent. Okay. So uh, first hub having uh, three devices. Second hub uh, also having three devices. So same answer. Three devices. Whatever you same say answer. for this, it's going so to be three. I mean one collision domain and one broadcast exactly. domain. Exactly. Now yeah. I'm going to connect the fourth port. Mm-hmm. between these two okay <clears throat> now what will be the collision domain overall I don't want to have separate separate overall mm-hmm. what will be the collision domain and what will be the broadcast domain uh... Now also one collision domain and one broadcast domain. Exactly. So you see, more hub mm. you connect like this, you may mm-hmm. have more device, but you got only one collision domain to control all of them, then it is going to be a headache for you. It won't work. Yes, yes. So you should not do this. Mm. Correct. This is why you should not do like, you know, connecting more hubs, more when there is only five employee, you bought a hub. When there is another five employee, don't buy another hub and connect it. It will be a problem. Mm -hmm. Fine. Let us now change this to switch. Same. Uh, Just for example, Mm -hmm. okay? How uh, four port switch? Just for example. Mm -hmm. Okay. Now, how many collision domain? How many broadcast domain in total? Mm -hmm. For switch, right? No, no, together, uh... together. Together, okay. Together, mm, uh, one, two, three, uh, three collision domain. Three collision domain and one broadcast domain. Why three? I appreciate one broadcast domain, uh, you know, right from here to here. If any broadcast is sent, mm-hmm. it will go to everyone. I appreciate. Mm-hmm. There's only one broadcast domain. I, I agree. In total, you have only one broadcast domain. I agree. How do you say three collision domain? In switch, we have three ports. So three collision domain. No, no, no. I have written four port. If it is three port, then how you will connect this wire? Oh. Correct, correct. Okay, okay. Okay. So answer so four is collision four domain. collision domain. So some people, mm-hmm. you know what they will do? They will say four and then this one plus seven. No, no, that's not the one. It is not one plus, not four plus one. It's only four. What you what you said is right. Mm-hmm. Now, I'm going to bring a router in between. Mm-hmm. So now how many collision domain in total? Total. Totally how many? How many? Totally how many collision domain, domain and right. how many broadcast domain? <coughs> Five collision domain. Mm-hmm. Okay. Uh,
by collision domain and uh, uh, two um, two broadcast domain. Very correct. But how did you say five? It's correct. Five collision domain means uh, in right side of the router we have switch. You have four. And uh, yeah, we have four. And you have here Left side, one. We have one. one. <coughs> Very good, because this is going to be a controller here and here. So five yeah. is correct. And two broadcast domain is also correct. Well then. Two because. Mm -hmm. Because uh, router have got broadcast domain on each port. Now mm -hmm. let us go to another topic.